friends, another book haul for you. I have a problem. It's only been one month since my last book haul video and I've already acquired 23 new books. I've already said it in my last book haul that I'm not gonna get more books, but here I am. I'll try to keep this video brief. I'll start with all of the books that I got in little free libraries in my last vlog, so go watch that if you want more of the fun behind the scenes adventure of acquiring these books. I'll start with books six and seven in the Outlander series. I don't have books five or eight, but I'm currently reading the Outlander series. Outlander, if you don't know, is this epic historical romance eight book series. The ninth book is coming out. I'm currently reading book four, so I have quite a bit to read before the ninth book comes out next month. Yeah, score these for free. I'm listening to them primarily as audiobooks, but I am kind of pairing them sometimes or picking up the physical read if I don't feel like listening. I don't really have a desire to keep these on my shelves. I I mean, unless one of these is like the best ever in the series. I have the first three. I love the first one. I think I'll keep that. I don't really need book two or three, so I feel like I might be giving those away soon. And I probably won't keep these once I read them, but I want to have them to read them and then I'll probably pass them along. The next one, Tuck Everlasting. This is a tiny, tiny little children's fiction, cute little story about a family who drinks from this special stream that gives them life forever and about this young girl that discovers this family and needs to keep them secret. I recently reread this in the summer and enjoyed it. So I thought I would keep it and this is a great little copy. Then I have The Things We Carried by Tim O'Brien. I believe this is a book about soldiers in the Vietnam War could be World War One. I. I don't know which one, and their PTSD living in that. I heard it's very good. I think it's kind of one of those like classic non-fictions to read in your lifetime, so hope to get to this one soon. Next one that's also a bit of a classic at this point is Memories of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, a book about a geisha in Japan, a historical fiction. I watched the movie a while ago and really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to read the book and dive into this story. Then I picked up Speak by Laurie Halls Anderson. I read this book in high school. I don't really remember anything about it. I believe it is about a girl who experiences sexual abuse and doesn't know how to talk about it and so has kept it a secret and kind of has pushed it down. And I think this is her experience with that trauma. I don't actually remember anything. I just know that this is a like high school read book and I'd like to reread it. And finally from Little Free Libraries and the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini. This is a historical fiction. I haven't read any of his books. I feel like I'm missing out. I need to read one of his books before the end of the year. I have the other two, The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons, and now this one. Which one should I read out of the three? I feel like Kite Runner. That's the most like prolific one. I've literally only heard good things about his books. I've not heard a single soul say anything bad about any of his books. I just know that I need to read them and I know that they're very sad and they're usually set in like Afghanistan or the Middle East and they're very hard but very good. Then in that same vlog I purchased a couple books. In a little bookshop in Newburgh I got this kids board book called Honey about a bear looking for honey, eating honey. Perfect for my bee and honey book collection and for you know a future child someday. I guess I'm starting, starting now. On a date night with my husband, we stopped by Barnes and Noble and we got Atomic Habits by James Clear. We are working on some marriage goals and habits and routines in our daily life. I've only heard good things about this book. So we are hoping to read it together and maybe, you know, be impacted by it and build some good habits. Three books I got for 50 cents each from my library. The first one being Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. I read this book, I love it. So excited to add it to my collection. A book about a lawyer and death row inmates and a man who was wrongfully accused. Very hard, but very, very good and very important. Another book I loved and I'm so excited to add to my shelves, Educated by Tara Westover. And this book is about Tara Westover leaving a very like cult-like doomsday family where her dad does not believe in education and she suffered a lot of abuse from her siblings and her family but she decides to leave that behind and go to college and get educated and kind of her experience in that it was very very interesting and then i bought the christian atheist by craig groskshell believing in god but living as if he doesn't exist i think i saw someone post this a while ago and said that it was a very good christian nonfiction book could totally be wrong though maybe it sucks i don't know but i thought you know i'd i'd look into it and read it always looking for good christian nonfiction. and if it's any good i'll let you know so those are all from one vlog and literally one week I, I 
have a problem, clearly. Then for the rest of the month, these are the other ones that I've acquired throughout, I found two books for free, one in a little free library, a historical fiction called The Poppy Wife, a novel of the Great War by Caroline Scott. I have seen no one mention this book who likes historical fiction, so let me know if you know anything about this book or this author. But it was free. The other one is Maniac McGee by Jerry Spinelli. I read Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli and really enjoyed it. I didn't really realize that he has written a lot of middle grade books. I know Star Girl is one of his other popular ones, but I was getting coffee with one of my friends and in this coffee shop in Portland, there's a whole wall of books and you can kind of, it's the same as a little free library, take one, leave one. So she saw this and had read it when she was younger. She said she really, really enjoyed this book about a white boy, I believe, who loves to run and he decided to run in like some poor neighborhoods, maybe in Chicago, and him encountering the people that live in those neighborhoods. Excited to read this one based on a friend recommendation. Next, I have some more books that I purchased. Another one for 50 cents from the library, Emma by Jane Austen. I don't love these Barnes and Noble Classics editions, but I already have two. So should I just keep going? And this is a perfect brand new condition of Emma. Again, don't love it, not my favorite edition, but it was very cheap. And if I absolutely love, love, love this book, maybe then I would buy a prettier copy that I would like to own forever. For now, this will do. I purchased All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols. This is a collection of poetry that I absolutely loved. I read it this summer and I wanted to own my own copy and I wanted to just have it sit on my shelves or my coffee table and pick it up whenever I feel like it and kind of peruse through it, read a poem here or there. This is a really good book to own and I think to gift too. So excited to maybe gift a few of these. We have a new Goodwill that opened just down the road from us and Goodwill is usually the main place where I buy thrift books. I don't really have like a lot of like thrift secondhand bookstores I think in Portland or at least around me or maybe I do and I just don't know of any and in my research I haven't found that many so Goodwill is where I usually go and most books there are like between two and four dollars so I went on a little Goodwill book run and I found some books. Another one to add to my collection that I've already read and really enjoyed is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, one of my favorite books from last year. I think in hindsight, I wouldn't call this an absolute favorite, but this was a very enjoyable reading experience and it was very fascinating. And I think a really good mix of whimsy as well as like post-apocalyptic pandemic end of the world vibes. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm excited to own it. Another one that I've already read and I'm excited to own is Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. I listened to this as an audiobook and it was very fascinating. So I'm glad to own it. This is all about the Harvey Weinstein uncovering of his sexual predator vibes in the Hollywood industry. And so this author who is a journalist kind of uncovered that story. He interviewed the women who were assaulted. It's just a deep dive look into kind of how those predators exist in that industry. And it's very fascinating. Another one I found is Sold on Monday by Christina McMorris. If you've read it, let me know if you liked it, but I think it is set during like the Great Depression era in America and about orphan children, a family struggling to survive. I see the words gut-wrenching, family's dark past, heartbreak of children, fractured family. Those are some of the words on the back. Love, redemption, and unexpected paths. Sounds like a good book, sounds like a heartbreaking book. And finally from Goodwill, Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner. Isn't this the prettiest dress? I wanna own it, but I absolutely love Nature of Fragile Things by Susan Meisner. I bought her other book, As Bright as Heaven, and now I have this one and I'm so excited to read more Susan Meisner because I really feel like maybe I'll connect with her other books since I really enjoyed that first one. And then finally, almost done, I have three books that I was gifted. The first one from my mom. She went on a recent trip to San Diego to visit my sister and they saw this at a kid's store and she thought of me and bought it and that is be More Be by Allison Davies. How to find your buzz. I think this is just like a tiny little coffee table quotes and a device with really cute illustrations. It could be very cheesy, but it's very cute and I'm excited to own it. And I'll probably let you know how I think about this book in one of my future B book videos. And then I got two books from a new friend of mine. Her name is Maria. I work with her at the library. We are both library aides and we shelve and put books away. And she is a profound book reader. She does have a bookstagram. I'll link it down below if you wanna go follow her. And she invited me to her book club and it's so fun, but she reads a thousand books a year. Like I have never 
seen or heard of anyone reading as much as she does and she has read a lot of stuff and she was so sweet because we've been talking and becoming friends and talking all things books and she was going through her shelves and found some doubles of books that she owned two copies of and so she sent me a picture and said hey do you want any of these which is like very sweet of her so she gifted me two books the first one being the black swan of paris by karen robards i don't know what this book is about it is very historical not not the cutest thing ever kind of cheesy looking but i think this was rated like pretty high on goodreads so i was like you know for being a high rated world war ii historical fiction it could be really good and then finally american dirt by janine cummins this book is about a woman who lives in acapulco mexico and she owns a bookstore and her husband's a journalist and on the surface it seems like they have a happy good life but i think somehow they get involved in the drug cartel and something happens and she has to flee with her son and i've just heard some really good things about this book so i'm excited to read it that's it that's the books that i acquired in the past month i need to stop i need to not get any more but you know that just doesn't work there's so many good books out there and when you see them and they're just right there you know it's so hard to say no you guys know but anyways thank you so much for watching and for tuning in i will see you guys with a new book video soon bye